Greetings YouTube, Dark Swordsman here, and I am back for more Final Fantasy X on the PS4. Um, so it's been a couple of days since I've dished out any episodes, apologies for that. Um, and so in today's episode we're going to carry on from where we left off. Now I've done a little bit of work on the sphere grid, so I'll just quickly show you guys what I've done so far. So I haven't really gone very far, but I have unlocked a few little bits. Uh, Kamari I haven't really done much with at the moment. Um, but with Waka I've gone and got extract ability, so I can now get the ability spheres as and when I need them. Since the game is doing its usual trick now of not dishing out the ability spheres when I need them. So I'm basically forcing the game to, to spit out what we need. Right! Oh, hang on a minute, let me just reply to this message a second. Right, so the first thing we're going to actually do is make our way straight up the middle here. The fiend before us is Ochu, Lord of the Wood. We've had trouble with this one before. Remember, discretion is the better part of valor. So we're going to go ahead and try and take out Lord Ochu. The Ochu is no we could throw a hundred crusaders at it and still lose. Standing guard, sir. So let's get in there. So Lord Oak, she has about 4,600 uh, health, HP, and is weak against fire. So let's go ahead and see if we can't take him out. I believe he's immune to most status alignments, so I wouldn't waste the time trying to uh, blind him out like that. Ha! Now, of course, we could summon up uh, Veil Hall as well if need be, but for the time being, we're going to hold off on that. Why didn't it cast a zero on it? So Lord Ochi will put poison onto our team quite a bit. But Yuna's uh, Azuna ability can be used to get rid of it. Once you get his health down so far, he will put himself to sleep and he will also start healing as well at the same time. So ideally we're going to need to give him a wallop in a second to wake him up before he heals too much. So let's go ahead and wake the little sleepy one up. Oof. I don't think he took very kindly to us waking him up. So he's got 936 health left, so we are getting there slowly. Uh, right, let's just get rid of the poison. Uh, also, Yuna's 
uh, Null Tide ability can uh, deflect the Ochi's water-based attacks as well. Although he doesn't seem to dish it out very often. Oh dear. Let's chuck a Phoenix down and get her, get her back up. Oh my word. I really nice don't have life, do I? I'll have to use a Phoenix Stand to get him back up. Right, let's get Yuna out of there. There we go. A summoner and her guardians. Very impressive. Sir, we should fight too. We'll get our chance soon enough. Young crusaders gather around. We'll be sitting to the ground. So if we go ahead and talk to Luzu and Gata, I believe they've got Do your best kid. for us. Look, Elixia. Hey! After the tournament, you should join the crusaders. Maybe not. Um, right, this way. If you follow the path around, it'll lead us round to the temple. And we have got another boss fight coming up. Um, but again, it's quite easy to dispatch. And I will show you guys how to do that in just a moment when we get to it. These stone steps have a history, you know. Yep, Lord O'Holland trained here at his peak. <laughs> a race, huh? <clears throat> Think you can beat me? <laughs> Yuna, if you would. Uh, ready! <laughs> hey! Ah, huh? Hey! <laughs> so when we get to the top of these stairs, we're going to have our boss fight. Actually, let me just save the game in case something goes wrong with it. I can't see anything going wrong with it, but just in case. Better to be safe than sorry at the end of the day. Quick, sin spawn! So our next boss fight is against a sin spawn known as Genex. Uh, and the other bits are his tentacles. And in order to take him down, we first need to eliminate the tentacles. So we're going to divert our attacks to the tentacles. While the tentacles are still up, if you try and attack the main body, the tentacles will absorb all magic. And if I remember correctly, it also makes it very difficult to summon as well. Oops. It's hard as rock!
So at this point, I'm going to summon up. And we're going to have Veil for attack it since its shell is quite rock hard. I'm going to need to bust it open in order to get the inside. He has 3000 HP and again is weak to fire just like the Ochi was. Let's go ahead here and Once you've dealt about 700 odd health of damage, he'll open up and that's when everybody's attacks will be able to start doing a bit more damage. Let's go ahead here and use Energy Blast. about that hope to break you in a little slower wasn't expecting to one shot it like that but being very okay tiring you handle yourself pretty well you got talent nah. so what are these sin spawn anyway fiends they fall from sin's body and are left behind in its wake leave him alone and sin comes back for him you gotta be quick that moment when waka told me i had talent in battle I think that was when I started seriously considering becoming a guardian. Oh, two ability spheres. Right, so with that now done, we're going to make our way up here. Huh. And we're going to make our way towards the Cloister of Trials. So, uh, they got fiends in Xenarchan too? Just a few. It's a big deal when one shows up, though. I... Hey, since when have you believed me about Xanarkin anyway? I've been thinking. Maybe people Sin gets to don't die. Maybe Sin carries them through time, like a thousand years through time. And then one day, maybe they just pop back, see? Amazing. Simply amazing. Hmm? You make up one theory after another, refusing to face the simple truth. Sin didn't take Chapu anywhere. Sin crushed him and left him on the Jose shore. Your brother won't just pop back. Oh, and one more thing. No matter how much you want it, no one can take Chapu's place. No one can replace Sir Jack, for that matter. And there's no replacement for Lord Braska, either. It's pointless to think about it, and sad. Well, Lulu, you know, be this negative I could never be what Chapu yeah. was. <laughs> well, stuff happens. Best not to worry. Waka, Lulu, and Waka's brother, Chapu. Something had happened between them a long time ago. I was sure of it. Well, whatever it was, it was none of my business, that's for sure. Best not to go there. So here we are at the entrance to Kilika Temple, and it is here we have our first run in with the Luca girls. You here to pray for victory too? Us pray? Who needs to pray? 
The Luca goers always win. Oh yeah? Then why are you here? We've been praying for some competition this year. So what's your goal this time? You gonna do your best again? Ha! It's too bad your best isn't good enough. Why even bother showing up? This time, we play to win. Hmm. Ooh, play away. Just remember, even kids can play, boys. See you in the finals. We'll beat them. We have to. You know that team? Putting people down. They're as bad as my old man. But Sir Jekt was a kind and gentleman. Well, not my Jekt. Even ten years after he left, just thinking about my old man got me angry. <laughs> But maybe that was just so my I've way got of my keeping him. Book next to me, nah. folks, to nah. try and help me remember stuff. I mean, I pretty much know everything there is to know about this game, but it doesn't hurt to have a guidebook next to me just to jog my memory on a few bits, since I want to make sure that any information I dish out is 100% uh, accurate and correct. So at this point we can either choose to pray or we can just stand and watch, it doesn't really matter which. I'm going to go with stand and watch today. And here we are introduced to another two a characters, summoner, are you? summoner Dana and her guardian Bartello. My name is Yuna, from the Isle of Besaid. Donna? So, you're High Summoner Braska's daughter. That's quite a name to live up to. My, my, my. And all these people are your guardians? <laughs> my, what a rabble. As I recall, Lord Braska had only two guardians. Quality over quantity, my dear. <laughs> Whatever were you thinking? I have need of only one guardian. Right, Bartello? I only have as many guardians as there are people I can trust. I trust them all with my life. To have so many guardians is a joy and an honor. Even more so, than being my father's daughter. Of course, I would never think of questioning your ways either. So, Lady Donna, I ask of you, please leave us in peace. You do what you want, Bartella, we're leaving. <sighs> a guardian is someone a summoner can rely on. Someone she can trust with her life. I wondered, did Yuna feel that way about me? What's she smiling about? Okay, so with that cutscene now out of the way, we're going to go ahead and make our way into the inner chamber. And this is where things are going to get a little bit the dicey. The faith is below. Let's do it! Well, I say dicey, I mean... The faith? But first, the Cloister of Trials. Kamari, well, you'll see. Waka, ready? Strength, everyone. No! Da! Ah. Hey, what gives? You're not a guardian yet. Um, we'll be back as soon as we can, okay? Oh, sure. Soon. Like, tomorrow soon, I bet. Well, we're going to end up going down there in just a moment anyway. So we are going to be getting ourselves into a little bit of trouble. However, the next cloister trials after this will be done legitimately, we will be a guardian by then. But for 
Right now, unfortunately, we're Where's going to Yuna? cause some trouble. Then why are you here? Hey, I'm not a guardian, so I'm not supposed to go in, right? Hmm, not a guardian, you say? Hey, wait! Ah, let me go! Go! Hey, what's a big idea? Just a little game. Huh? This is bad. Really bad. Right then. So unfortunately we cannot get back up the lift and we are now forced to go forward. Only guardians allowed. And I'm sure no guardian. Well, I guess it's too late now. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is take the Kilika Sphere off of the pedestal and use it to open this door. Now, basically, it's going to be pretty much the same as the last course to a child. You're going to have your Dirt Spheres, Destruction Sphere, and instead of the Sage Sphere, it's the Kilika ones for this temple. Go ahead and so once you put the Kilika Sphere there and made the glip here, we're going to go ahead and chuck our Kilika Sphere just over here out of the way. that will open the door to the next bit and then we're going to run through here and grab the touch pad here this will bring the pedestal forward and we want to move the pedestal onto that touch pad that we were just on a moment ago so we'll just push this forward and so slightly more so it's lined up I always hated moving these pedestals. The easiest. Come on, move. God, I can't get it to move. There we go. Why couldn't they have made it more like to move the moving pedestal where you just press a button and then push forward? There we go. Okay, so now we need to get rid of this Kilika Sphere for a moment. And we'll go ahead and bring that one into here and dump it over here. Okay, next we're going to take the Glip Sphere out of here. And we're going to place it in here. This will open the door. And we'll clear all of that out of the way for us. Now we're going to want to grab our Killica Sphere from in here. Really, if we want to stick it in here. Sit. Right, now, next thing we want to do is come down here. Take the Kilika Sphere out of here. And we want to go ahead and chuck it in here. And then finally, we want to grab the Destruction Sphere out of here. And 
can place it into here. This will blow a hole in the wall for us to get our second destruction sphere item to go towards getting Anima or the secret Aeons. And then finally, to finish off, we'll grab this sphere here, which will open the doorway. And then just walk on through, basically. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It was Donna and that big muscle-head man. Yuna will be the one to suffer the consequences. Uh, what consequences? She could be excommunicated. is a sacred place. Only summoners may enter. What? Even guardians can't go? It's taboo. Oh. Just wait. So what's in there anyway? The faith, remember? Oh, yeah. The Faith are people who gave their lives to battle sin. Yevon took their souls, willingly given from their still living bodies. Huh? Now, they live forever, trapped in statues. But when a summoner beckons, the souls of the Faith emerge once again. That's what we call an Aeon. All that in this room? So, so, what's Yuna doing in there? She prays with all her heart for a way to defeat Sin. about all the dialogue we're going to get out of here now. There was something I didn't tell anyone else that day. That song we heard there, in the temple, I knew it from my childhood. It was proof that Spira and Xanarkin were connected, somehow. At least to me it was. Maybe that's why suddenly I felt like I just wanted to go home. I tried to say something to tell them, but the words wouldn't come. And so now we have Ifrit. Our second summoning. I thought I had put my feelings for Xanarkin behind me. But they were there, and they grew inside me bigger and bigger, till I was just about ready to burst.
Are... are you okay? I... I don't know. What do you want to do? To scream real loud? <laughs> Take care of those alone, huh? We are pretty much done here at Killer Clown. It is time to bid Killer Clown adieu. There is one thing I'll quickly do before we leave, and that is I'll just grab a few Phoenix Downs from the shop there. Of anyway. so, yep, we're gonna go ahead and Off embark. to Luca at last. The match has start as soon as we get there. So rest up on the way, yeah? Okay, so I'm going to end the episode here. So if you've liked what you've seen, then let me know in the comments section. Hit that like button. Or be subscribed to the Dark Swordsman Gaming Guys channel. I've been your host, Dark Swordsman. And I will see you all next time. Where we will be uh, attempting the jet shot. And we will be making our entrance into Luca. Take care folks, see you next time. <laughs>